Cue the music. Cue that funky music, gay boy. Play that music. Play that music. Ooh. Play that music. Play that music. Uh -huh. Play that hot gay music. Do you know what I'm grateful for? Let's play that music. Rum, rum. Another day. Let's have some pumpkin spice lattes. <laughs> <laughs> Spock to Enterprise. Play that funky music. I'm not single if it, I have a vibrator this year, right? <laughs> Whoo! That caught me. Ooh. I named him Shaky. <laughs> oh my god. That, that, that is so funny. <laughs> Um, I would say then, no, you are definitely not single. Not <laughs> the, my only question is, does he make for good conversation? Because we need good conversationalists, don't we? He definitely gives good lip service, at least. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I know something that'll really make the heteros cis heterosexuals mad. Like, let's just create a an LGBTQ plus sweet estate. <laughs> uh, there, no, there is, it's, it's called, it's called celebrating gay love is all of july <laughs> it's all of july all of you i mean all of june all of june, <laughs> all of june. you know whatever you know Let's, what we have a month how dare we have a you know month, what right? i have deemed i have just i've just taken over july too we've taken <laughs> over two months it's all of oh summer. god don't say that we're taking over july because we won't hear the end of it <laughs> Independence Day? No. Gay Pendence Day now, bitch. <laughs> the, the, the gays are taking over again. Oh no. <laughs> it's the gay agenda. <laughs> I wrote you a Valentine's card. Right? You wrote me? Oh my goodness. I, I feel like did. such a slack. You wrote me a Valentine's card? This is your valent this is your Valentine's card on a oh nice little God. on a nice little folded piece of sticky note paper. <laughs> and it says to Ari from Donnie Hart. And the interior says Roses are red, violets are blue. You slay my world and you know you do. Oh goodness, Mama's got her drink and she's getting her drink on today. We're going Midwestern, friends. My high school had drive your tractor to school day. No. <laughs> people would drive like their giant John Deere's. Some people would drive their lawnmower. <laughs> it, I, I feel like drive your tractor to school day is one of the most midwestern things that could ever happen in the midwest oh yeah i can't even yeah like my little gay self witnessing drive your tractor to school day like i was just like it was the afternoon i for some reason made the decision to get a nitro cold brew coffee which i never do and I was like, mm, this probably isn't a good idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I did it. Drank my nitro cold brew and had like a very light lunch. Probably should have had something a little bit more wholesome. So I'm like bebopping around school, you know, doing my thing, you know, teach you, teach you, teach. I'm in the middle of class and I'm talking. And suddenly, as I'm standing in front of the classroom, I feel my stomach twinge. It, was it a tickle? Was it, it so oh god it was more than it was a monster truck doing a flip <laughs> it is one of those things that you have to find the family restroom to give yourself some privacy because like you, if you use if you use the men's restroom like people are gonna hear you and like you have to need the private I, literally any bathroom at this point would have been a, a divine thing so like i like i had the decision of like do i stop class and go poop or do I clench beyond comprehension 
and just press forward until I go home. And of course, guess what? I made the second decision. So I'm like, like at a certain point, you can kind of like convince yourself that you don't have to poop. So I was just like, I don't have to poop. I, I, I don't, I don't have to poop. So I, class is over with, it's like 7 p.m. So do you know what happens if you put off, it's sort of like an erupting volcano. If you put it off, if you put it off, if you put it off, it's just going to be like the magma is going to build below the surface. And you, you may get like, that's where you get the tummy rumblings. It's sort of like the volcano is like building. It's like below the surface. Mount shit Suvius. Absolutely. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. Like I am Mount shit Suvius and the bathroom is Pompeii. So I am drinking coffee, which is a diuretic, of course, going up on the North Bend Trail. No bathrooms out in the middle of nowhere. I have to poop. There are so many people up on this trail, wine moms, all the, all the, all the fart smelling Seattle lights. <laughs> I go to hide, I go to hide off the corner of the trail to take a poop. And someone comes around the corner, of course, <laughs> of Seattle light, locks eyes with me, mid, I mean, the poop is hanging out. <laughs> I'm like, this, this is my life. This is my life now. Instant regret. Instant regret. I'm like, can can someone just put a shack with a chair and a cat hole on the trail so I can go Shit high? shack. <laughs> I went through a phase where I was doing smoothies. It was like some sort of diet I was on. And I ate like this, or drank like this in mind, but like the, milk in it, yogurt in it, every dairy thing possible was in it. <laughs> And I had had coffee earlier, which is also a natural diuretic. Oh my God, you are setting yourself up for failure right there. And going for a three mile walk, you are setting yourself up for failure, friend. It was also a 90 degree day. <laughs> so, so I like, I decide, like I put on like my little shorts and I'm like, I put on a little tank top with some music. I'm like, I'm gonna go for like a little power walk. At some point in the middle of this walk, I decided to start jogging. Dumb choice. I stopped halfway to the park because I felt a twinge. It's always the twinge. Like, I felt like I was in, like, a room where, like, artificial gravity was turned up by, like, 100%. Like, my body was ready to evacuate. It's sort of like when you take those Barbie dolls and you shake them. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. So, it's... <laughs> I like, so I'm like waddling. <laughs> I'm like waddling. I'm like, I'm like trying to waddle as fast as I can, like to this bathroom. I'm like, uh, and I can feel myself starting to let go. <laughs> I was letting go. Let go and let God. <laughs> I was letting go and letting God. <laughs> Dear diary, mood, apathetic. My life is spiraling downwards. <laughs> and I'm sobbing. Or I, know. I don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> bitch, bitch, what the, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> Your resident daddy is here. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. I'd like to talk to the manager. I'd like to talk to the man. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'd like to talk to the manager. <laughs> There's, are you there's are you here to talk about the pride stuff? I'm sorry, it said demon. It said demon. It was you were just, 9, oven. You were just like day. a loaf, and you were just like an oven baking. <laughs> like it felt like the surface of the sun. <laughs> but then I bought this, my little my little pride parasol. I didn't need it. And Britt was just like, do you really need that? And I'm just like, absolutely. I need to make it like a little bit, I need to rough it up a little bit and like do some destruction. Just like make it like- That's some a great philosophy art. in life, honestly. Honestly. <laughs> I was like, I need to make some wearable art. You need to do something. You know, it could go viral. And then you might have people being like, hitting up that Etsy shop being like, Ari, I need this. But the back of it doesn't look as nice. I have, so what I did was I flipped it. So it, I don't know if you can see, but like it, it looks a little weird in the back because I flipped, oh, can I, you see? It's yeah. flipped. 
So like he's he's upside down pointing towards my armpit. I need more chunky jewelry in my life. I'm getting I'm getting older. I need chunky jewelry in my life. I need to buy more chunky jewelry. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Hello. Ooh, you did not lay your wig, honey. <laughs> I do, I what? What did I do? It's called laying your wig. <laughs> I'm a kite and you are my tether. I'm just, I'm just the, uh, I'm just the uh, manager in this. <laughs> You're... Can, can we be besties? Can we go out for drinks? <laughs> uh, so we'll out to brunch. Oh my God, drag brunch, yes. There's probably an alternate reality where brunch is like a sacred ceremony. Uh. Oh, it could be now. Three drinks minimum. Drink from the mimosa chalice. <laughs> I want this fanfic. <laughs> Imagine an alternate. There's got to be an alternate reality where, like, drag. I'm writing queens, this. I'm already writing this fanfic in my head about like, sacred sacred brunch. <laughs> sacred brunch, and there's like a pantheon of drag queens. And drag kings because we want to be inclusive. They come around. They're wearing like robes and like they whip off their robes. <laughs> they're like wearing, Grecian like, the most robes. Outfits, and they're like they come and like coming down from the ceiling is a sacred platter of charcuterie board. <laughs> Donnie, you just reminded me that I forgot that I had a cancer scare at the beginning of this year. Remember when I? had that spot on my my JJ and then um and then i realized i went to the dermatologist and she said um it's just an age spot and i was like i just haven't my i just have an old pussy <laughs> oh. Oh. i just ha i just have an age spot on my old pussy <laughs> oh. 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 and then and then all of a sudden it naturally went away. And so now I don't have it on my pussy anymore. <laughs> I just have a, I have a, I have, I have a gentle old lady and just a dowdy old lady pussy. <laughs> Did you just say dowdy? A dowdy old lady pussy. <laughs> it is time for your beautiful live performance of the mission statement. Oh my goodness, here we go. I'll, I'll read it in my white woman voice. We live in a dynamic society where social media shapes the powers causing the adversity and those who act as bystanders as atrocities take place in real time. Our goal with this show is to make connections and have challenging conversations about social topics, current events, pop culture, and art. Together, let's weave the threads of understanding with what privilege we have in order to learn, educate, and create in a world that's growing. Amen.